Good morning. Hope you're doing well today. I pray God is blessing you. And I pray that you look forward to a great day in the Lord. You know, we I want to talk to you this morning for a few minutes here about a very familiar story in the Bible that we all learned when we're kids. And that's David fighting the giant. And how he overcame the obstacle that was before him. I think they said a nine foot tall man. And uh, we look in 1 Samuel chapter 17. <clears throat> and David knew where his strength lied. He knew from whom his help came. If we look in that chapter, 1 Samuel 17, and look at 45, and I'm going to go to another spot in a minute. It says, Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword, and a, with a spear, and with a shield. But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast de defiled. He didn't say, I'm coming to you with five little stones, and I'm coming to you with this sling in my hand. He, he knew that that weapon he had was inadequate to do what he wanted it to do on his own. But David knew that his help lied in the Lord, laid with the Lord, because he said, I come to you in the name of the Lord, the God of the armies of Israel. And if you jump down to verse 50, it said, So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and a stone, and smote the Philistine and slew him, but there was no sword in the hand of David. Now listen, he won the victory, and it came as a result of his faith in God. And today, we can identify with these five specific factors that led to him winning. Number one, he had a heart for God. Number one, he had a heart for God that caused him to seek the Lord and his face continually. Number two, it said David had a zealous and deep concern for the honor and the reputation of the Lord of Israel. And he realized that that giant was defying him and not just the armies, but the Lord himself. And we see that today going on in this world. The world is defying God. David's confidence was in the Lord's power and had been strengthened by the memories of what God had brought him through. You know, when he told Saul, he said, God delivered me from the hand of a bear, from the hand of a lion. David knew and from his past that God had brought him through. It wasn't him. He knew that God had given him the victory over those two things. Number four, he trusted not in himself, but, a, but in God to give him the victory. You and I today must realize on our own, we cannot defeat the enemy of the, of the camp of God. The devil is powerful, folks. He's strong. But with God and through God, the Bible says we are more than victorious because of who is in us. And that is Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit today. We are have the power through God, through Jesus, through the Holy Spirit to overcome anything and everything that comes our way if we will just trust in Him. The Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon Him. And whenever God's children, it says, faces uh, insurmountable problems, and I'm sure if you're like me, so there's been times in your life you have faced what you would consider a nine-foot giant that stood in front of you, that was between you and maybe something that you were desiring for your life or a stronger walk with God or a closer walk with God. And it looked insurmountable. But by, man, when we pray and we seek God, those giants can be overcome just like David got over Goliath through the power that is in us through Jesus Christ. The Bible says we are made more than conquerors through him today. We are made winners today through Jesus Christ living in us if we will just put him first and seek him in all ways and all things. Folks, just like David, we can beat the giants that come against us. We can beat this world that's coming against us. We can beat the enemy that comes against God and his family and his, his church. We are more than winners through Jesus Christ. Lord, thank you today for the promise of always being there to help us in time of need. Lord, that you're always walking with us. Holy Spirit, that you're out there fighting the battles. Jesus Christ, you've given us the strength to overcome. All we need to do is have the faith like David did. And Lord, he didn't depend upon himself. He didn't depend upon his strength. But he knew where his strength come from. And it would come from you just like it does for us, Lord. Help us to always remember, through Jesus Christ, all things are possible. And we are all winners today. In Jesus' name, amen. 
May God bless you today is my prayer.